Hi Internet, uh, hi adventurous people going home finally starting at Entrevaux I uh, use a little trailway to the city along the Var River in the walk mode and uh, I enjoy all the flowers, the smell, it's to hear the river it's really fantastic, the big mountains and when we arrive in the middle medieval city Entrevaux uh, I give you a, a short a short view up to this castle fortress in France that how it looks uh, it is very difficult when you want to go upside but you can do it so we almost are entering the city Tu es terrorista, le bon chien, oui. Vous pouvez mettre tes très en retard, oui. Quand même, hein. So we going now to through the pre-fortification of this medieval city Entrevaux. I cannot say when it was built exactly, but it must be 15th or 16th century. And so there was a first stop for attacking uh, armies. And now we moving up to the drawbridge uh, that was the security of the city. If uh, there came an army, they yeah. just pulled up the drawbridge and uh, nobody could enter and uh, out of the first floor so to say they threw always out some hot stuff so you see the drawbridge now okay now it's always down it's clear and then you are directly in the city other life huh? and I think if you have been later than 10 o'clock uh, that was up you couldn't enter anymore so now we're turning around city place nice uh, restaurants in summer shady place to enjoy it but must say quite expensive <laughs> the menus are so starting 25 euros um, that shocks some tourists because they are cheaper places okay uh, then it's not yet it's not yet 12 o'clock so nobody's in the restaurants and the the old trouble of all the small villages in France uh, uh, where to buy something uh, it's very difficult for for elder people to find a shop where they can buy for reasonable prices not easy mostly local products are quite expensive so now we are already uh, out we're going out of the city or to the other drawbridge we are finally in front of it and we enter here on the left side you will see the little prison so maybe there was only for one two three persons but uh, uh, on the left side is the prison of the village yes you see the door on the left side where the man is walking and there are some some models in it were imprisoned okay now we go out by the drawbridge so over the bar river it's really fascinating 
I hope the man let me pass by. It's not yet sure how do I manage this, but I think I will get it. And Franz, always be friendly, don't nerf people. Okay, I think that worked. The truck comes also, so he anyway has to move. So now we are already on the direction to Puget-Tigny, but we will make a, a short stop. Uh, these squads are very popular here, but also very dangerous, I think. So now let's have some parking and have a look around. So, so I don't know what I'm checking here, but okay. This is the village, and up there you uh, see the fortress where you can walk up. You throw in some money and you uh, you go through the doors and you walk up. And the little train from Nice is also stopping at this train station. And in summer it's it's very cold inside. There's no sun coming in it, no overheating. And now we are up on the fortress and we look down and it, it, it says this was still used in the First World War, uh, probably for some German prisoners to, to lock up there. And uh, okay, it's like it is. So now we go forward and I'm surprised that now I'm going a little bit downhill. But that makes a lot. I have to do 75 kilometers with 50 kilogram luggage, but I have not much wind. And I was surprised with this little downhill. I, 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 I made it. So we're rolling now. We're pushing. Take That's it.
Hi guys, we're rolling into Puche Tenli, another beautiful village along the Var River, right? You see the tracks. In the summer, there is rolling the famous steam engine you bought here and go to Ano, uh, ano or Ano, how you like. On the left is a, is a big supermarket, there's big adventures, you can, can buy something. Uh, but there is also very famous uh, Les Alles for luxury food products and on the right for local bio products. You see now on the right the, the old trains that are constantly remade and refurbished with a lot of love. Uh, many people come in summer to see that and there is also a festival of uh, the truff in French or truffles. You see here the train station on the right where you arrive of bio vegetables, everything. Very nice village. You can have nice food here. And a shady shady road. What we always like when we know the run in the sun. So let's roll in in the city. You can also visit the city with the bus from this. I, I don't remember which number, but there is a bus near the airport who is coming here every day. So, on the left, uh, we would now go in the center of the village. What we not do today on the right, you see the factory with no, uh, the mystery factory with no road closed since 60 years. There will be the green factory out one or out of seven that could be remade. The locals are very interested. Politics are closed down. I think they tried to get it themselves and it didn't work out. So we are here. I'm just looking what I decide. Yes, I think I will go to the right side over this big bridge. It's really an impressive bridge here. And up this way uh, is, a, is a new home of the pompiers, the fire people who take care of the fires uh, up there on the hill. This is a very nice bridge. And we let have a, I think, a right. Yes, we go to the right. <coughs> have a short look. It's all about uh, redeveloping uh, the area, the small villages. There's a home on the left, what is now reconstructed, redone. I think mostly in this things, it's the roof. There is this place in front of the old uh, furniture factory. And uh, I'll have a short stop. Look, oh yeah, here's all for a repair shop for this extra house, what is beside this. This is the door to the factory. It's closed today, as you see. Voila. Nothing done. It's like in, it was a long time ago when the Berlin Wall was falling down. It was the same situation. And the people here yet don't know how to remake uh, old, uh, old buildings and getting into, into, into the future. The factory is a special, it was running also on the water, but coming down on electric turbines. So combined uh, with, a, with a big solar roof, it would, would be uh, very interesting. So that was it for today. It's closed, so we don't see much. And now I'm driving over to the local camping of puget it's uh, the most expensive on my visits, but well, it's like this. So let's go down. Very nice person of whom I will talk now. And you can do camping directly on the Var River. That's a big advantage. I think there's also location of uh, some uh, small cabins if you want. 
And the, the man told me I have not to pay for electricity if I charge my battery in the bathroom. Well, <laughs> I won't do that because it's a bit too risky to load a $500 battery in the bathroom overnight. <laughs> but, okay. So it's 16 euros 20 for one person plus electricity. <laughs> So for a mobile home, it's 19 euros 30. Well, not much yeah, different per day per person. Uh, that's the nice thing with an electric bike. It goes a little bit uphill, so the motor starts in. You can do 75 kilometers. I have a foam seat costs at Decathlon 10 euros. Uh, it's really fantastic. Without that, I wouldn't stay there. And I have no special biker clothes. Uh, like other people, uh, I prefer normal clothes and wash it. I, I don't like these plastic things. What you go under the shower and put the shampoo over you, including your biker uh, shorts. Uh, this is not my way of life, but some people do it, so they like it. So now we're going back direction Nice to the right. And I was really surprised what that makes for a difference that it slightly goes downhill. It was so easy this way. So here we are. And the next village is my famous village, I think it's Tuit, where I, uh, on the way up, recharged in emergency in the luxury restaurants. <laughs> Merci, thanks again that you let me do that. Even there was some resistance at the beginning and the local plugged in my extension cable. That's what I rec make recommend, you have a self-made lightweight extension cable for your charger, uh, that you five meters that you can plug in.
out.
getting some ideas here on my way that I will visit again my lovely boulangerie lady, La Blé. Laure, at Sapel, is fondateur and she has a very nice garden, also food truckers, snacking, traiteur, patisserie, bar, and a wonderful atmosphere. You get everything what you want at reasonable prices. Because I want to know why didn't my bike charge when I went uphill? Because it flashed only red when I was one and a half hours there. And on the way back I will test it again, the charger. But I don't have to do it, but enjoy life. I like to have a break in nice atmosphere, eat something and then slowly go towards this where is a difficult situation through the tunnels. I have to be in good mood. Okay, I think I'm almost there. It's here Malusena. Turn to the right and the place is called Pont de Table. So here it's direction Nice and uh, I'm thinking yes it goes now to the right. You see it? It's a lot of big parking, all the truck can park there. It's no problem. So I'm going here to the right. Voila. A lot of space. Nice to be there. So Oh, here we see this, the snack lovely. And I will park where I parked first. Nice garden places. <laughs> I tried to get. If the charging will work out, I have to know that I cannot let stay this. And I was surprised what I found out. So here I am. And where the door is, I put my 5 meter extension cable to the electricity then. See, now the charge is on the ground and that's the lovely lady she's so nice to me and she like oh, wonderful food a uh, nice beer and I found out uh, during the charging when the charge is on the ground that the contact to the bike was not very good so I have to look that I have a good contact when the charge is on the ground because the, the cables are very heavy and then it worked and I'm I know now I can stop here can recharge and thank you, Laurie, again, that, that you are so friendly. She has herself an e-bike, but she, she will sell it. It's, she has no time. She has her business, and it's nice to find people who are so engaged.